So, what you're about to see is one of my viewers, Newell, who said he was struggling a lot on the Sanctum. I remember one of the first things he said this day was, this lead mechanic is fucking impossible on melee. And I was like, what build are you playing? And he said, Lacerate. So I was like, you know what? A lot of this lead mechanic, a lot of people are struggling because they don't really know what to do or how to play. And then I was like, you know, it could be really good content. What if I actually coach one of my viewers through the Sanctum and see if I can help them improve? Because now he's actually playing one of the strongest builds for the Sanctum, Summon Raiding Spirits. So let's see if we can help him not fail Sanctums. I'm excited. Have you ever completed a Sanctum? I have done two floors. <laughs> that was the furthest I got. So you've never been to floor three? No. All right, I'm excited. We're starting at 83. Ah. So this is actually yes. quite hard. So we might not I be able to do this know. on the first try. So just start the first one because you don't have a choice here. And then the number one thing that you want to do is you want to like move a little bit and cast. Like always move in like a circle shape and move, cast, move, cast. Okay. And never backtrack like you're doing now. Keep like completing circles. Like just keep making small circles around monsters and like they'll ideally never hit you. Oh yeah, you want to be close, right? Yeah. Take less less inspiration damage or res resolve. Resolve Inspiration's damage. The other. You don't have to be too close. You took a little damage there. So these have... Um, the reason you're taking damage right now is you're standing on top of their ice balls. And they're basically like volatiles. You activate them and then they explode. So on those, you want to stay further away and just keep making circles. Stay maybe like... I don't know, like 10 screen centimeters away from the boss. But maybe even like a little further away. And never run like directly at the boss. I like, always make like mm. angles. Okay. I actually wonder if Unleash is better for this. Unleash is definitely better for this. Let's go for the horizons. We can definitely complete this floor. I believe in you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Get 46 inspiration. Cars impact. Okay, cool. Okay, now. So now what you want to do is first you always look at the, the second rooms. And you pay attention to the lines on the second rooms because what can end up being really bad that a lot of people are doing is that they go to a second room that forces you into one so you can see on the second rooms right now the top one has two lines the second one has three lines and like all of these have um yeah. three lines except for the bottom one and the bottom one forces you into one so let's say that if you hover over the first unknown room at the bottom if that is really bad like you're you're forced to get whatever's on there um now we look at the the rooms that you have to go to and then we'll see what the downsides are merchant offers only one choice um monsters have 30 percent more max life and you see one of your rooms right oh. so now we safely go to the middle one and here you just like keep making one big Sorry, uh, one big circle around the outside, and you just... Oh, Unleash is so much better for this. Yeah. So just, just keep circling. You have a lot of damage, too, so this is great. Oh, this is a 78 yeah, room. I thought this was going to be... I thought this was going to end up being a build rose, too, but... Yeah, your build looks fine. Poison SRS is even more damage, so you can do that eventually. Yeah, I heard. Anytime you see those, like, icicles spares... The linger in the air, just like flame dash past them whenever you see them. Okay. What is going? Oh, we're done. It didn't tell me we were done. One more uh, Templar cash you can open there. Nope. I'm gonna set yourself up with as much gold as you can. Yeah, I've uh, I've had a run where I couldn't get any. <laughs> that was fun. Let's see. That's a third option. Third option. We're taking you all the way. All right. All right. All right. Right, so now you only have that choice, but then we can look at the, the other ones, uh, and we're going to try to get so you can go to the Benevolent Fountain. So, yeah, go to the next one. Yeah, I, I didn't even know that you had to do the Act 2 and Act... or the Yeah, the Act 2 and the Act 7 thing. Oh. Until, like, maps. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. they don't... Oh. Oops. See, that's why you want to, like, keep moving in circles. Never, like... Stay close to them, but do pick up the gold from it. 
Um, and a really, really nice tactic to deal with guards. Remember, you can hide behind walls. And you yeah. can, like, your SRS, like, for example, stand in the corner of that wall there. And yeah, then the all the way on the left of the screen, right click. And you see that your SRS um, actually oh, go there with with you not I even. Not, I genuinely didn't know that. Yeah. And you don't need to kill anything in this room, so you can just run through it. But you are very low on gold, so it's not terrible to like open some chests. But be very careful about never standing still. I guess that's the biggest thing. Just don't stop moving. Yeah. So I would actually recommend going to the middle here. There's two chests. And uh, seeing as you're in a... Also, always be careful here because there is one thing that attacks you while you're opening those chests. Usually. Okay. Yeah. Just go... I think you should be have enough now because you'll be able to see if you'll have enough. Because this room has uh, two or three chests in it. Out of nowhere. Yep. Nice. So you got 150. With the new patch. Yeah, I think I so. Think. Yeah, as as oh, uh, let's see. Major treasure. What's the other ones? There's no no good rewards on any of them. No. Okay, then just go to the benevolent fountain. We'll get you a boon. Yeah, the uh, boons were. The number the one thing. relic that you can get is gain inspiration when you um get an affliction so in this i would just like recommend doing a way bigger circle because oh just go all the way around yeah yeah just keep me making like one big zero around the entire thing and just keep moving okay and always try to move at a bit of an angle around the bosses. And remember, you don't have to pick up the coins mid-run. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the skull throws me off. Yeah. And whenever you're moving in a circle and a zero the entire time, you're, you're never going to get hit by that. Alright. We got a boon. We got a boon. Not bad. 200 max is all. Delicious. All right. Um, we'll just stay on the bottom ones. Okay. Try to play like super safe. All right, same thing. And unleash is so nice because that means that you barely need to cast. You don't need to cast like once every three yeah, or four it's so seconds. <laughs> the single target from Predator does not. Uh... Yeah. Make a difference here. The less stuff you have to do and the more you can focus on dodging, the better. Oh, so Ooh, that thing is like a big dot thing, so just flame dash past that. I don't think it actually did damage to me. I think it did. Oh. Jesus. That was hard to see. Classic off screens. She's annoying. Nice. Room complete. Consecrated path. I remember they opened the test again. One in the middle, one on the bottom. <coughs> awesome. A lot of tests. Let's go. Got all those coins. A few more on the top left. Yeah, I'm so, I'm used to opening them, going away, waiting for them to fall, and then yeah. Right, let's uh, explore all these. So there's no good rewards on any of them. Um, let's uh, look at all the downsides. So guards remove volatile, hundred percent more resolve. That's the worst one. You never ever want to take that. Uh, afflictions are unknown. We don't want to take that. Lose 30 Arius coins. Um, we're going to go with the... Let's see. What's the um, Affliction hand to the left? Yeah. I think we're going to end up taking that. Let's do that. And then what? Going with... We're going to go with 100% more Resolve while Resolve is below 100%. Okay. Cool. Okay. 
So how do you know? So again, there you backtracked. So you want to like really like keep up the circles. Okay. How do you know if a room is just, I mean, is that just learning like room layouts? If you can just walk through a room. Like where the exits are and stuff? Well, I'm one of the rooms we did before. I mean, we pretty much just left it as soon as we got in it. So that actually, it tells you on the right what the task is. So right now it's just the oh, forbidden it sanctum yeah. to feed all the guards. The one you had earlier was just exit the room. And there is, um, once you're done with the room, I'll show it on screen. But there is a spreadsheet somebody on Reddit made that tells you the name of every room. So like the names are static uh, and, and what oh, really? it is. Interesting. And now, for example, it says room is complete. So now you can just leave, which is all the way on the right. Yeah, I'm just... See, so I'll, I'll show it on screen. I can link it to you on Discord as well. Um, and this is really, really good as a cheat sheet to have, especially if you want to avoid the uh, the rippier ones, like the battle arenas. Interesting. Okay, cool. So uh, you want to gain 200 inspiration, lose 200 resolve. The middle we one. Take that. Yeah. yeah. So the reason those are really good is very often I'll end up with like a hundred. Um, you can take the middle one. Um, oh, I love stack decks. Though. Okay, you can take stack decks. That's fine. Um, look at that accursed fate again, because there might be a second one that's good. What's the gold magnet? Right. No, I think we'll just leave it. Okay. There, and then now we're gonna go to the afflicted fountain. This one right here. Yep. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, I was like, where'd my resolve go? Yeah. <laughs> so the reason those are really good is um, I end up having very, very little actual resolve and I end up focusing on inspiration. inspiration. I'll end up with like six, 700 inspiration. And then it's very easy to take the reduced 25% max resolve, reduce 50% max resolve uh, and get really boons, re really good boons from that. You do have to be careful though. If you have one resolve and you take reduce percentage, you do die instantly. Oh, no rounding up here. Oh. Nope. Well, it is running up it's for them. Oh, but. Doesn't work like that, I think. Yeah, this is silly. The leash range on the SRS is so big. They'll never, uh, they'll just sit on everything. Yeah, it's great. Careful. Oh. Ooh. This do not just, click that. Do not click that. Do not click that. Okay. Just go to the next room. That's a boss. Yeah. Oh, I have so on I this, have fought this boss. <laughs> on this, literally just make a circle. Just keep making a circle. That's all you need okay. to do. No backtracking at all. Backtracking is illegal. Straight to jail. Me a little bit closer to the boss too, so you can see what he's doing. Let's always try to stand behind the boss. Oh. Very nice. Hip and Flinto? All right. Let's go. Well, we did a four. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> you love stack decks. I love it. Gamba. All right. Um, let's see. We should have one more room saved up. So now we're yeah. going to look. There's a merchant. Reduced resolve recovered. I quite like taking that. So both the two bottom ones aren't a choice anyway. So you have to take the top one. All right. See, it becomes harder to do circles. Well, so here you like can you can stand behind that wall to your left oh, and just yeah, cast the from there. Here. You want to like start using, um, especially when you're low damage that like you are at the moment. You want to like hide behind things more when you can.
Oh, careful. I wonder how much damage you have at the moment. I have no idea. I could look at my POB. I yeah. have a lot of room for improvement in my gear, so... That's good. That's definitely the there. thing that carries the hardest in Sanctum, is just more damage. Yeah. Like, I don't have any plus gems at all. Like for room three and four, we might actually have to improve your damage at 83. Um, okay. And a big tip to people that are having like slightly lower damage builds is to literally run lower floors because you still get good things at 78. Um, so yeah, we're going to. So much health. <laughs> we're going to buy the bottom one, which is inspiration at the start of each floor. Wish we could buy more, but we can't. That's fine. Um, we don't need to recover any resolve. So, yeah, yeah. that's it. And no, then yeah, let yeah, me yeah. know when you have another one and we'll continue. All right. And just like that, we were done with the first floor. Noel managed to get some cheap upgrades for his build. And seeing as his damage was a bit lacking, that should make a big difference. Because the biggest thing that you can over gear for the Sanctum is more damage. So after doing a few maps together, the next nine Sanctums, we got back into it. Um, So I will go for the major treasure reward now. Build up your gold stack a little bit. Okay. Uh, a rumor I can't hide. You good? You have way more damage now. Oh my god, my SRS cost 78 mana. <laughs> At least they're mostly staying up. Oh, you're mad. You have like bad mana issues. Good thing you have unleash. They're dying pretty quickly now, though. Yeah, much faster. So for those um, watching, the gear upgrades we did, he uh, didn't have a weapon. So he actually bought a pretty easy to make, pretty expensive to buy weapon, uh, plus two, which we can show after this run. But a very cheap plus two helmet, which was, how much was it? 5C? 5C. 5C. And they're anywhere from 5 to 50C, depending on how annoying it is to finish. And then we bought a 5C amulet. So the biggest uh, expensive upgrade he did was... Uh, it, it opened the box. Uh, biggest upgrade he did was his wand. But they're actually pretty easy to craft. It's one in 18 with corroded thread shuddering. And um, well, simulated in craft of Excel first. But what is it? Corroded, shuddering, metallic. What am I missing? There's one more. Uh, but yeah, show your items for, for people watching. The weapons, we got a really, really good weapon. Um, helmet was cheap, and Amelia was cheap. So he was missing a lot of damage. Alright, thank the map. Let's go telling me to turn off screen Jagged, shake. corroded, metallic, shuddering, that's it. Where's screen shake? Uh, UI. Scroll down a bit. Cannot believe you had screen shake on. I also, well, I usually, when I play melee, I play uh, with uh, the the crits that make the screen shake. <laughs> right. Now we're going to go to the top one because you want to hit that merchant. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, look at the melt now. It's crazy. Yeah. And the merchant is really good to hit because he can actually sell you sanctified relics as well. Oh, really? I yeah. I know that. Ooh. Yeah, I've had three so far. Ooh. So whenever you see that flicker strike guy, just keep like flame dashing past him. Right now you're like playing kind of um, defensively nice. against him, but he keeps flickering on top of you. But he will always like flicker towards where you were. All right, nice. Go pick up the coins and then we're off. Oh. Wait, 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 what the? Oop. What are you doing? Isn't oh, there a merchant here or something? Or a chest? Like, go up. Why oh, aren't you opening them? Waiting. You want the coins? Yes. 
All right. And then so this is the merchant. look the next rooms first before you go. All right, that's fine. So yeah, now we do go to the merchant. Okay. Oh. Again, just circles here as well. Are you not using a curse? Uh, I am not because I don't have room for it. <laughs> I really want that. These are something else. Damage that goes down pretty fast. Remember to loot the gold from the boss? I think you got it all. I think I got it, yeah. This is, oh, it's one of the things. Oh, come on. Nice. I actually don't have, like, room. Uh, I'll, I'll look at your profile. I'll have to fit one somewhere. Right. Um, so, hmm, oh, okay, the there's one? so many things that you really want here. So, definitely buy the bottom one. And then we're going to buy the additional room as well. This one? Yeah. It's crying? Yeah. That's like one of the most powerful ones. Sweet. Next room. All right. Cool. And I believe we get an affliction on this next one. Yep. Uh, but like, look, look at the next ones too, because now we can see the entire thing. Okay, yeah, cool. No cool rewards, but yeah, gotta go to the next one anyway. <coughs> and on the boss room, you wanna um, be fair. For, oh, uh, blink left, blink left, and then go up, straight up to the right, and there's the exit. No, no, the right. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, and yeah, take that. Excellent. Yeah, you could drop Defiance Banner, actually, for a curse. Your mana's bad anyway. Okay. Do that for the next Let's floor. Right, now let's look at the next ones with the downside. Uh, we're going to go for the bottom one with the Impact Morrisol. So, okay, so, yep. I mean, it but, um, what's the reward? Go down for the sextants. Beautiful circles. Let me just blink through that. So much better now. Yeah, the first thing I noticed when I started doing these was how fast the uh, the enemies in this like hone in on you. Yeah. Pick up the chest at the bottom as well. Nice. Come on, pull up. There we go. Awesome. Stacking up. Stacking up the rewards. Take more damage. Try to uh, keep Quicksilver charges for the boss. Right. You could actually go back and hide behind that thing. I don't think I can cast Bone Offering. Bone offering There's doesn't no do anything way. here anyway. Flesh offering I would know, be the way to go. Just... Oh. Jesus. Nothing. Thank you. God. I think it's weird how they made defenses do nothing in this. I like it. Oh. Damn. Let's 
Is there any more chests in here? That I don't no, you're good. Just go down. Okay. Alright. Now you get a lot of chests. Very nice. And now we're up to the boss. You now the boss. So you want to go for the left one first. You focus that down and a lot of movement. You're just going to have to dodge things. All right, start casting and just keep going in circles. But early on, the slam doesn't do that much. And then once you kill the left one, it's going to be hard to focus it down first without the... Uh... That predator. Yeah, if you <laughs> click it, they will go for that boss first. Ideally, the left one dies first, and then the right one has like easier moves. Has like a ball that'll try to circle over you, and then you just gotta. That's why you want to save it. Quicksilver, quicksilver. Ooh, damn. You want to quicksilver away from that ball. Yeah. There you go. Is this your first time in room floor three? That was not my. This is my first time hitting floor three. The last time I did that from boss, it killed me. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. So yeah, we're going all the way. Excellent. All right, the next floor. Welcome to floor three. Ooh. All right, first you look at all the rewards, see if there's anything like a mirror. Yeah, I wish. That's what I said. I was talking to my buddy. I was like, watch. There's I'm a divine get a... Ooh, there's a divine. I said, watch. I'm going to get a mirror on the... So, let's see. Coaching. What's the... Uh, it's 40% movement speed. All right. I mean, we could do this one, too. Traps are faster. Because you can... Oh, oh those are pretty rough. I personally prefer the 40% reduced movement speed over traps are faster. Okay. And give it a shot. <laughs> Alright, well, it would have been a shame if you didn't get that 40% reduced movement speed penalty. I know. Oh, uh, that's funny. If you choose it and then DC, you still have to do it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so slow. <laughs> oh, All right. boy. So, it's pretty easy. You just now move forward to the end and be ready to move to the yeah. next one. And then the first shortcut you can take, you want to take. Which is up top left here. So now blink up top left. Where? Oh, up here. Neat. And then just move past it. Actually, it's probably more beneficial that you kill it so you don't get chased. And like I said earlier, just blink. Like, now you're oh. running away from him. You want to blink through him. Oh, through him, through him. Okay. There you go. Just always blink through him. He can never hit you again. Okay, okay. There you go. That's how we kill them. He's annoying. Alright, now you just have to do this. Wait, oh, I am not on. God damn it. Oh, this feels so sluggish now. It's crazy. Yeah. To be fair, I'm very glad we didn't go with the... Just go... Oh, no. Ooh. Go, go up. Yeah. I'm very glad we didn't go with the 30% faster trap speed. Because I think that would have fucked you here. I think it would have been funny. It would have been content. That's what I'm here for, after all. True. Content. We'll just have to do a whole series with me, like, making me good at the game. That's it. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Um, all right, just blink up. You don't need to kill these. Just blink up. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is an exit room. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What's the... Mm. Let's take the chaos drops, I guess. Five free chaos orbs. The rewards are already significantly better this low. Yeah. This is your first... Oh, my um, God. Look. Yep. It's beautiful. Yeah, one divine as long as you can kill the boss Newell, and it was all worth it. 
Right, this room is new now. Oh, this is so much easier. Just keep sending your SRS over to the other side. Click on the other side when you're casting. Alright, you're doing good. Keep running in a circle. No backtracking ever. And blink when you need it. Inspiration is really the meta for this. That's crazy. Come on. Almost done. Two more and you're done. Oh my god, stop following me. <laughs> Killer, they did. Like the worst monster. He really is. Oh, two more. Or one more? Two more. They should be the last ones. I have to remember I have flammability now. So oh, nice. That's a big damage boost. Oh there you God, go. It is. <laughs> my poor Defiance banner. I'll miss it. All right. Here we go. Divine Orb. Beautiful. You sure you don't want the 14 Chaos? I don't know, man. You're doing great. All right. Now look at everything. Any more rewards? No. I see stack decks. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. Well, you have to go to the middle one next, at least. Unholy lair. I do enjoy a good gambo or two. All right, gotta kill the guards. The hell was that? A little beam. Yeah, we always go shop because they can buy sanctum relics. Let him guess where he has to go to learn. <laughs> no, that's already not been working for him. Nope. He's never gotten to this. You know is his first better? time in four three. Listening to Ziz. Listening to Ziz works. Listening to myself had not worked for many runs. Remember, you can go hide behind that wall on the left now. Always look for things that you can hide behind. You go down. Oh, down over here. There you go. I see, I see. Oh. Ooh. Hey, those we gotta watch out for. And whenever you're able to pick up things, like you deal 50% more damage, they have 30% less life, like they're huge damage buffs for you. Yeah. You don't need to, like, run and see them. You don't need to look at them. Your SRS are going to attack them for you. Yeah, I keep forgetting. <laughs> we can leave. Let's go. Took some damage. Yeah. 300 life left. Let's okay. see if we can do the boss. We'll just have to, uh, we'll just have to pick up an affliction. <laughs> No. Get our life back. Um, no more divines. We're gonna go for the merchant. Down here? Yep. Alright. Choo choo! Now 
Nice. Then kill this one. Remember to curse them so they die faster. Alright. There you go. Halfway done. Yeah, he's got the slow debuff. To be fair, this isn't a particularly lucky run and you're doing really well. Like, there are obviously, like, some runs will be easier than others. And then now just blink past. There you go. All right, let's see what, uh, oh no, it's the next one that's merchant. You're running multi-strike, right? I am. Okay, cool. A level 20, a uh, level 18 multi-strike. Let's see, check the last rewards. Uh, All the way on the right. Okay, cool. All right, merchant it is. Find the exit. So, uh, okay, blink to this, up. yeah, and then northeast. There you go. Oh, wow. That is a, quite the easy room. Yeah. All right. Let's see. 400 inspiration. I don't think we're going to take that. Um, a duplicate offer reward. Very nice. You might get two divines. Let's see. So, um, I would buy that first, the duplicate offer reward. Then by the next minor boon you gain is converted into a random major boon. And then by the top one, the cheapest one. No, 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 the boon, the boon. Oh, this one. Right. Click escape or something so you can see. Let's see what boon you got. Oh. What did you do? That's actually kind of bad for you. You got the next affliction you get is converted into a... um. Boon, but you actually need an affliction oh, to get yeah. more inspiration before the That's boss. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, talk to Divinia again. I think we're gonna buy that. Just, I think any, like, you'll only get 25, but at this point, yeah. anything helps. Just any extra, yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright. Um. Well, whatever we get is gonna get converted, right? Yeah, so go for the uh, fountain. This one? Yeah. Oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> oh yeah. God. It gets yeah, converted, so hopefully we get something good. You can see any after the, the room. ones are like horrible. Where is he? Is it here? You still get the affliction, but it's converted. You don't. That's why you saw that he didn't gain inspiration. Remember to curse them too, and you'll kill them pretty fast. I have to remember to do that. Oof. My secret is that I usually play one button builds, like Cyclone. <laughs> right. Perfect. So, an important thing to remember about the boss is that the beams don't do damage. We're not, they don't we're do damage not. until they explode. I don't know if you've seen the boss at all. I, I haven't. Okay, so she has a lot of moves. Okay. I'll explain the most before you go in. So, uh, hover over your boons, see what you got. Oh, okay, that's nice. Um, <laughs> click your flammability. ability. Click it? Turn on the always attack without moving. Oh, always attack without moving. Do you have that on everything? Uh, most things. Cool. Awesome, alright. What was the reward here? Oh, uh, oh. more stack right. decks. More stack decks, alright. I hope you can kill this. So, 
She has a couple of moves. She usually opens up with looking at you, and then she's going to charge at you, similar to the tier 4 blue harvest beast that like does the charge up move, but it's faster. Okay. So in the start, always try to stay at her back. She has another move where she fires lasers across the entire screen. The lasers do not do damage until they detonate, and they start with the first one that appeared. So you just got to move out of the way uh, when they're exploding. You like, just okay. don't panic by being inside them. Um, she has another move where she like will pirouette spin towards you and then I usually just try to be on the opposite side of the room. I don't want to stay on the opposite side of the room. You just want to let her... She, she leaves like lingering tornadoes. It's pretty annoying. Okay. Interesting. That's, That's a lot of mechanics there. Basically try to stay behind her. Learner, so I will stay behind her. Okay. Start summoning SRS already. Use Quicksilver and start. Blink. Nice. There's the lasers. Ooh. You can see that they only do damage when they actually explode. Go okay. towards her. Blink. Keep running. Flame up. Left, left, left. Nice. Perfect. Blink left. Blink left. That works. Blink through her. Oh. Perfect. Go left. Oh, you're doing great. You're gonna do it. Go down. Oh, okay. You did it! Right. Hey, let's go. We got a relic too. Room four, relic altar slot unlocked. You weren't kidding. Divine orb. Let's go. Or for the 14th, so yeah. Yeah. Badass. These things, well, I guess. Just Maybe Divine Vessel, I don't know. Up to you. Yeah, six, six, six. Awesome. Go to the right. next room and let's see I what you got. Have one more. Uh, click the book. Click the lower and I. Alright, let's look. See any rewards? I see. I see stack decks. <laughs> nice. That's what we want, right? <laughs> You're not always taken to the room you select. No, no, no. Okay, like look at look at more things first. Yeah. Radiant Fountain is very good. It removes the downside, so. So we could take it and then potentially get rid of it. Yeah. Uh, what's the merchant cut? Although you don't have a lot of coin. Uh, what's the middle one? Oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh man. It's not, not the worst. Okay, I will go for the bottom one, but it's not the worst idea to go for the top one and hope for some good RNG. All right, let's try it. How uh, how painful are these catacombs? They're they're pretty easy. This is just defeat cards. So, all right, Alicia, take the. Oh no, you got to blink more. Okay. Well, that was interesting. I didn't think I'd get hit by it. I thought I was out of it. Oh. I just so slow. <laughs> Not even too bad when you get uh, things because you gain inspiration. Keep moving. Go oh, more, more circles. You're not doing many circles right now. I think you have a lot of fast charges when you kill them, so you can keep your Quicksilver up. And remember to hide behind things. Well, it wasn't anything else we could do, Bertini. It was that or trap speed. Uh, it's it's definitely uh, helping, actually. It means I have to be more careful with my movement. Yeah. And he got a divine out of it. For real. I did. Will I be tempted? Absolutely. All right. Come back when you have another floor and we'll finish it. Well, let's pray. Let's pray. 
Right, sends us to the right spot. Hide behind walls. Hide, no, left. Go behind with the starter wall. What? There's a guy southeast of you. Oh, is there a guy here? Oh my god. Always. They're uh, always in the same spots. Pretty much. So there's always two at the bottom here at 83. Nice. Oh, thank God that doesn't go through the wall like that. That's annoying. Poison Estress is one of the strongest, if not the strongest, build this thing, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably convert to that. Hey, you should. I don't know much about it. Steel's doing it. Oh. Neither do I. Oh, my Gotta blink through those. Know anything about converting to it. Does he have negative 50 moment speed? Negative 40. Remember to curse again. Oh. This fucking guy. The bane of my existence. You're doing great. Is there any chests on this? Uh... Hey, you're fine. Good night. Just waiting for that to go away. Alright. I right, did not clear the one we wanted to. Wait. Alright. Okay. Oh. Well, remove the reduced recovery. Get some resolve back at least. Right. Uh, look up. We want the affliction, right? No. Because it's random. You'll get afflictions anyway. Um, look at the fourth line, the rewards. Right. So I think we um, go for the top one here for the coins and then we do the merchant. And then merchant. Okay. Oh, I hate this guy. Yeah. The mine guy. It's kind of hard to take damage from. It's annoying. Right. So, just gotta get through here. Oh yeah, the minions block him. Oh yeah. Well. Wait, where's the... Uh, oh god. Not much I can tell you here, just gotta get through it. Oh, it's just like the eater, the eater balls. You could also just bring, uh, if you do find that this is hard, you could just bring frost wall and throw that in oh, front yeah. of you. That's funny. Nice. You could also like, um, if you just, uh, if you stand still now, and then uh, kill that guy first, um, your monsters, your minions will go where you flam ability. So if you flam ability ahead of you, your minions will go ahead of you. I'm learning so much. Good. So like stand still now and then flam ability to your left. That's crazy. There's also, uh, you could also stand still again. If you click A, they will also go there. Oh, attack move. If I just click A? Just clicking uh, A. Maybe you might, you might have to bind it. No way, that's the, uh, that's the last epoch call. <laughs> ha! Oh. Kiwi doesn't have that. <laughs> Wrong game. Yeah. Mixing games, not good. Alright, yeah, just do the fun ability check here. Get rid of the frost bomb on the ground. That's crazy. We should be able to blink through here. This is the end. Oh yeah, it's not a... 
Money, money, money. Dodged. We have a nice little, uh, little bit of, little bit to play with. All right, we'll go to the merchant. Uh, actually, I'll check if there's any like, nice. All right, merchant. Fun to see if there was like a mirror or something. <laughs> nah, I wish that would be. Wait, hilarious. wait, wait, wait! Remember this room. There's someone below you, so just hug the wall and start summoning SRS. Ah, that's right. And remember, like, you could also use flesh offering instead of bone offering for a huge yeah, buff and movement that's speed. Yeah, one thing I forgot to uh, switch to. Just follow the sounds of the beating skulls, I guess. Wait. Oh, that's the same model as the Pale Seraphim. I was, like, really confused for a second. Mm -hmm. I remember you're getting kind of low on, uh, Resolve. All right. Not bad. Seven hundred to play with. All right, Davinia, what you got for us? We good. Very nice. Uh, you and your minions deal fifty percent more damage. Beautiful. Two hundred and fifty inspiration. And I guess we'll buy the resolve. Yeah. That's fine damage boost. That's huge. Um, alright. With all nice. that chaos. Okay, you don't have enough money for the benevolent one, and you don't really want that anyway. Yeah, we'll go for that. That'll be a lot of chaos. Entombment. Stack decks, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Gamba. Okay, this is exit, so oh. just blink past everything. Uh -oh. Those uh, those frost bombs are a little annoying. Yeah. I don't know if you saw my message, but uh, my buddy promised me 400 stack decks if I beat this uh, Sanctum run. Really? Yep. He's been saving them. <laughs> That's awesome. Left, left, left. Yeah, and you're out. That's so nice of him. I'd be tempted. Actually, yes, that's 14 C. <laughs> nice. Um, go for the accursed pack. Be something spicy. Find the so here you just run through the middle real quick. Run through the middle. Yeah, just keep blinking through. Make sure I have enough money to open yeah. the... You're fine. You're going to need close to five. You'll always get five. We can't hear him. Yeah, you're a little quiet. Um, I'm sorry. I'm leaning backwards a little bit. <clears throat> right. Um. Oh, what's the left one? Oh, we don't care about that. Um. I mean, you could like, gain 200 inspiration, 200 resolve. How much resolve do you have? 415, so... Yeah, that's fine. Then you can get an offer here. No downside. Alright, escape. And then, and then check the offers. No, no, you don't You don't want to remove that. Oh, this is remove. Oops, I did not realize. 14C? We'll look at another 14C. Look at that stack of 
42 chaos. Nice. <laughs> finishing the. All right, go to the bottom one. Now you're almost there. Hide behind things. Hide behind things. There's monsters below you on the left. You don't need to face check. Literally just stand there and then shoot. They'll go there on their own. I still think that's so funny. Come on. There we go. Alright, they're dead. Good stuff. You don't need the coins for anything anymore. Shoot to the left. Oh. Oh, Jesus. And they want to avoid losing inspiration here, so you want to be more careful. You're so close. Go back up so you can hide behind walls and shit. I might not need to. Something here is making my game slow down. You're lagging a bit. There's two guards at the top of the map as well. You can hide behind a wall on the right. Go to the right. There you go. You're complete. No release into loot. You don't need the coins. Alright, nice room. Don't need to reload here either. Sorry, just instinctual I know. to... Uh... Alright, Alicia. I, I, the... oh, I thought I clicked the bottom one. You have the one that sends you to a different room. Oh, I do. You're right. Alright. Well, All right. This one can't send me to a different so, room. So, there's three stages. There's the first stage. Um... Um... I'll try to like, tell you where to go, but basically at the start, there'll be like a fog and you don't want to go in the fog. It drains you. Um, you want to start at like as close north to the fog start as you can and let her attack in that direction and then move southeast and go like clockwise to the left. I'll try to coach you through it. But yeah, okay. just go in. So like here where you're standing now, the fog will start there. Okay. So I stay as close oh, to the fog until she attacks and then blink. Oh, blink. Oh. oh, okay. Move southeast and then move like it's going to slowly start there. Now stand behind that wall and her... Uh-oh. Right here? Oh, oh move. God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Keep making circles. What? Hard left, hard left, it hard left. Blowing the right, shit right, out of right. Game. Oh. Oh my god. Move, uh, keep moving. Hard, hard blinks. Hard blinks left. Oh. It is slowing my game down so much. Blink. Remember to find ability here. Blink left. Blink left. Oh no. I'm trying. Oh, no. 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 So, I don't know what in there. Something in there was horrendously slowing my game down. And I don't know what it was. That sucks. Are you on Direct X or Vulcan? I am on Direct X because Vulcan does not work for me. Right. He just linked it to me. <laughs> no. Well, that was a pretty good attempt on a pretty hard one. That was good though. You made it all the way to the it. end. All the way to the and end. And you had never been to what? It was floor two was the record before? I'd never beaten floor two, yeah. So that was the end of the run with Newell. We did manage to get him all the way to the last boss after I'd never gotten past the second floor or done the Act 2 or Floor 2 boss. So he did extremely well in a difficult run without good RNG. Having things like lower movement speed, etc. Thanks for making it this far into the video. I hope this helps you guys in your own Sanctum runs. Sub if you like the video. As always, try to die less than I do.